Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're still watching Cairo Local Time live on Nile TV International and still talking about Taid al Adha and healthy nutrition diets. And on this issue, we're glad to be joined over the phone by Dr. Hisham Al Khayat, internist. Good afternoon, Dr. Hisham. Uh, good afternoon and happy feast to you and all your spectators and the viewers. And thank you, sir. Happy to, to you also. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Hisham, uh, talking about nutrition diets during Eid al-Adha and uh, eating meat and red meat in specific, how do you think uh, red meat could be uh, harmful? Is it harmful to the body or is it okay uh, for uh, a couple of days? Tell us more about this. Yeah, first of all, you know, all our feasts equal food. I think in every feast in Egyptian tradition, we mean feast means food. Uh, especially in in Israel, our feast, we have a trend to have even breakfast full fat. Uh, that's to say, you know, el fatta, you know, uh, rokaf. All of this is served with margarine and butter and with the saturated uh, fat that we that harmful like gold or cheese right uh, that well dangerous uh, food that we take usually even in the breakfast breakfast and lunch and dinner is full of fat and this is absolutely wrong tradition and we should avoid this. The problem is, we all know that you, you, you just illustrated very well uh, the food pyramid. The food pyramid is the fruit, whereas the top is the fat. So usually, not more than eight, the hour diet fat. It's very harmful to increase this to more than 10 percent. You know, genetic diet and Atkins diet full of a very wrong diet. What is the problem with the problem that control this the the fat that that very out very the common uh Well, Dr. Hisham Al Khayat, uh, internist, thank you very much for joining us and thank you very much for your insight. And uh, now we move on to our next report uh, where Eid al Adha is a festival marked by extensive eating. There always is a risk of overeating, which can lead to various health problems in short term and often long term as well. Keeping yourself fit and healthy must be your goal this Eid. Let's watch this report to know more. Overindulgence in meat preparations during Eid al-Adha celebrations can cost you your health and doctors advise moderation in consumption of meat. People tend to have meat preparations for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Meat is heavy to digest and high consumption of red meat. Often 10 days of fasting triggers indigestion, calling gastrics, vomiting and diarrhea and we have a 30% rise in these cases during the period. However, apart from a high instance of the indigestion complaints, heavy consumption of red meat has a far-reaching impact on cholesterol and heart health. Doctors warned that even heavy consumption of red meat for a couple of days can prove to be toxic for those already suffering from high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes. According to a recommendation of the American Dietary Association, it is not advisable to eat more than 150 to 200 grams of red meat in a day. Besides, cured red meat is high in sodium and even the fresh outs from the butcher 
cooked with barbecue sauces and curries, also goes high on sodium, causing a sodium buildup, which is not advisable for hypertension patients. Doctors advised people to be more selective in their food habits and not to go overboard with meat consumption.